What I have here is something called an absolute zero demonstrator. And we use it like many other chemistry labs to come up with the coldest possible temperature in Celsius. It's a Bourdon uh, instrument or pressure gauge, which basically has a uh, copper coil that straightens out as you add more atmospheric pressure and changes shape, which moves the needle. And in any case, what we usually do is we find we find the lowest possible temperature in Celsius. We find a linear relation between um, pressure, which is in pounds per square inch here. Notice the 15. And we notice the PSI as well, pounds per square inch. And what we do with that uh, instrument is we notice as pressure uh, decreases as temperature drops. So as the molecules in the sphere that the demonstrator is attached to, as they slow down, they collide with the container a lot less and the pressure drops. And the relationship between pressure and volume is supposed to be a linear relationship all the way down to absolute zero. Again, that's assuming ideal gas behavior. So this is a demonstration of real gas behavior because I'm going to put liquid nitrogen in this container and it's going to lower the pressure. And in fact, it's going to lower the temperature so much then, well, the gas that's in the tube, some of it is oxygen, is going to liquefy because oxygen's condensation point or um, a boiling point is much higher than the liquid nitrogen, so it will cause it to liquefy. And if, gosh, if, if gases start liquefying, then they start attracting each other. And you should learn from your chemistry teacher, attraction between gas molecules, especially when they condense into a liquid, is something we do not expect or account for in ideal gas behavior. Gases do not attract each other. Well, I'm going to chill them down so much, the pressure is going to drop probably lower than it's supposed to be. Now, I calculated that at negative 196 degrees Celsius, we should have a pounds per square inch value of 6.3 PSI. Okay? So at 77 Kelvin, we should be at 6.3. I would expect our value, okay, to be a lot less because if 20% of the gas in here, the partial pressure of oxygen is 0.2, that's all going to disappear into liquid. So 20% of the gas is going to be no longer, which means the pressure is going to be totally lost by 20%. So I expect this to be off by somewhat. Now, another problem, of course, is the sphere, as it gets colder, okay, is also going to get a little bit smaller. The metal is going to contract a little bit, become a little more dense, and that's going to cause our pressure to go up as well. So we have some competing issues here. We should have a lower pressure, I would think, because of the 20% of the liquid being oxygen. And we should also have a, um, a competing problem with the constriction of the um, volume. Remember, for pressure volume to be a linear relationship, volume has to be constant, and the number of molecules sealed inside has to be constant. Not quite sure that's the case, although uh, I'm sure it's pretty close. So let's put some liquid nitrogen in, okay? And we can um, watch the meter drop as I drop liquid nitrogen into this onto the sphere. Okay, so I've got that submerged in liquid nitrogen. And you can watch the temperature gauge drop. Let's give you a look what's going on down below. Okay. I'm going to tap on this meter only because, well, um, it's not used to going down this low. And again, don't know if this pressure gauge is even rated for these temperatures. 77 Kelvin is not what we expect. So this is actually getting a lot lower than I expect. We expect to get 6.3 and we're down below 4. So maybe the competing problem here, all right, is the constriction of the steel sphere. Well, no, not really because that would raise our pressure. Definitely the pressure, the deal here is that we lost some gas. If I was to shake this, Maybe we'd hear some liquid, but we definitely took out more gas. It's supposed to be at 6.3, and we're down below 4 here, okay? And the reason, I believe, is because a lot of that gas is now a liquid. We took out 20% of the pressure as it liquefied. So this is showing 
the real gas behavior of air, sp specifically 